The crowd here as, again, equally timed intervals. Between entrants, there will be seven in all. Session Mott Martina will enter last as a result of her victory in the three-way matchup over Lizzie Evo and Ruby Soho. Back at no turning back. Lizzie considers herself the one true star of the 1PW women's division. Says she will be the face of one pro wrestling no matter what. And she has uh, certainly caused issues on our prior two events. Able to turn things around on Zaya in the early going. Great technical wrestling back and forth. Keep in mind Lizzie went toe to toe with Mickey James back in a new twist of fate. Showed no fear, no hesitation. Knew what she wanted and set out to get it. But it's ruffled a lot of feathers along the way. And I don't know if there's anybody in this matchup that likes Lizzie Eva or her attitude or her demeanor. Nice takeover by Brookside, but Lizzie measures her with the knee. Lizzie looked like she couldn't even be bothered to be a part of that press conference earlier on. Feet on the table, disrespectful tone for everybody. See, that pays off as uh, Brookside hits the buckle hard. Got the foot up, however. Brookside's got a lot of energy and agility and takes over. Lizzie Uppo with the head centers. Drop kick nicely done. Lizzie finds herself in a bad way. And you've got to last the long haul. you got to go the duration. You find yourself in trouble early. It's going to be the longest night of your career. Oh, man. But so, too, you don't want to be caught off your feet. You don't want to be near that top rope. That's how you're eliminated over the top rope. Both feet touch the floor. Brookside quickens the pace. Hits the satellite head scissor. And it's Brookside. Rolling the rig right now. Comes in with a double knees. And we are seconds away from meeting the third entrant. And our gauntlet for the goal. And the action won't stop, and, and Millie McKenzie is in next, and this is very key because Millie, the eight-year pro, has pinned many of the athletes in this match tonight. Will that be an omen for a successful 1PW debut in this very match? With the high stakes at hand, we have a special guest here at Commentary, 1PW Management Rep, D'Lo Brown. D'Lo, want to get all your thoughts in just a moment. Now, without question, of course, uh, only pinfall or submission for the final two. We'll see if Millie can get that far. Oh, nice twisting neck breaker as Millie has come in with a purpose and with an aggression. Certainly a much quicker pace than we saw numbers one and two utilize. And that's what you need right now. When you're the third person in, the first two are somewhat tired, so now you want to get in there and steamroll them, try to take advantage of the situation, get a blast thrown over the top rope or something, but try to get the field down to one-on-one -on -one before the next competitor comes out. Well, both athletes double teaming now. Go. Four seconds. Who's going to be out next? dominated the women's wrestling circuit in the country of France. Her name literally translates to hope in Arabic. Certainly a lot of hope on her side to uh, attempt to win the women's championship here in her 1PW debut. I have seen this young athlete before and she is fierce in the ring. Very, very strong contender to become world's champion. I can say, look at that stepping neck break. Wow. 
And with every new entrant, on paper at least, those odds grow, those odds increase. The luck of the draw becomes more of a factor. The later you come in, the more fresh you're gonna be when it comes down to one-on-one. -on -one. And then, look, when you get multiple people, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait a minute, well, we've heard some some rumors and we've heard some talk online that Lizzie is battling an ankle injury, d -Lo. Yeah, the, the word around in the locker room is her ankle's pretty, pretty jang I mean, banged up and uh, really shouldn't have competed in this. And now it looks like kind of jam that or something well i mean we, we know lizzie and we know she's hard-headed we know that she when she sets her mind to something she's going to do it uh whether or not it's a good idea and unfortunately maybe lizzie made an unwise call entering this matchup less than 100 yeah, you can see the concern on the, on the officials faces there checking on, on lizzie and... Uh, and meanwhile though uh it's about who's going to adapt who's going to adjust because we are less than five seconds away from adding another to the field. The fifth competitor, it's Tonga! Well, here is a fearless, tough individual. The one that targeted Mickey James, that new twist of fate. Upset that she wasn't booked, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Taya Valkyrie. Back at no turning back, Tonga has faced some of the best women in this world in just the past few months. And I'm not trying to bury the lead with Tonga, but I saw the EMTs go down to ringside to help with Lizzie. So she made it. Oh, now they're calling for, oh, this is not good. Yeah, uh, medics walking by medics, us right yeah. now, heading to check on Lizzie. And we uh, obviously, we, no, regardless of who or what, we don't want to see anybody go down with a serious injury. We, we hope all the best for her and that she'll be able to, if not continue, at least uh, come back without missing much time. Yeah, I, I don't want to disrespect any of the other ladies in this match by not calling the action, but this is, uh, yeah, let's just get back. Hey, it's a dangerous matchup. It's why it doesn't happen very often. There's arms and legs everywhere, and we're going to add another name to the hat. Here we go. in the 14 ladder match, trying to help out her charges, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. And uh, she was the worst for wear. As a result, she got dropped by a man like Doris. I'm not sure if she's even 100%. But you know what, she's out here competing. You know why? Every one of these young ladies are in this because they want to become world's champion. So, if you oh, oh! And taking a chance to the outside to try to neutralize Danny Luna. Uh, Danny right back there. Yanking them all out to the floor. Yeah. And you got to wonder, what did that take out of Amel? I mean, I don't want to be cliche, and they call it high risk for a reason, but in a match like this, you have so much more to lose. Yeah, no, you have everything to lose because high risk, high reward. You usually go up to the top rope, you're, you're almost eliminating yourself by elevating your platform. You got to stay low in matches like these. Uh, Danny Luna was everything, anything but low in that ladder match. Low may have been her, her attitude, her character. And Luna with the strength here. Yeah. Fall away slam, followed by another fall away slam. Well, that extra motivation driving her on that her team did not capture those tag team titles. Her last shot at leaving with gold rests in, on her shoulders now. Oh. Just showing off the power display here is Luna. And in just a matter of, of seconds, she's running this ring. Yeah, I mean, she's totally changed this entire match structure right here, right now. And she becomes, obviously, the odds-on favorite, the woman to beat. But uh, still one more athlete still to come. We know who that is. But at this point, what's the ring going to look like by the time she gets there, attempting a suplex? We're going to find out in about nine seconds. Millie McKenzie getting involved, Tonga getting involved, trying to, to thwart Danny Luna. And here comes number seven.
And D'Lo, if Session Mott Martinez successful, can you imagine what the victory celebration is going to look like? Uh, I, I would be remiss to even try to, 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 to wrap my brain around what the party would look like if Session Moth becomes the world's champion. I bet you'll be on that list. Hey, uh, I, I'm, I'm on the office. I can't really go there, Okay, but I'll be there. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, Session Moth is here in a big way right now with a field to run through. And Session taking control of the entire ring. And we have every competitor in this match because no one has been eliminated yet. Absolutely. And keep in mind, Session Moth Martina was victorious back in the new twist of fate over Jamie Hayter, who went on to become the AEW World Women's Champion. So we know Session Moth can compete with the best. She can compete at the highest level. She's proven it over time. Now it's time to prove it here tonight on this stage. Well, Brookside finds herself on the wrong side of the top uh -oh. rope. She's teetering. Hanging on, though. Balance is so key. Oh, and Brookside's out. Brookside's gone. It's not what Martina was aiming for, but she's not going to complain. And there goes the out. And that's two quick eliminations. Well, before we have any more, Dilo, do you have a quick prediction based on who's left? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I got, I got to go with Luna just to being the strongest competitor in the ring and the way she dominated everyone when she got in. Well, Tonga now was looking to dominate, but she finds herself in a bad part of town, courtesy of Mackenzie. Luna involved as well, and they can't get on the same page to double team anybody for an elimination here. Yeah, Mackenzie, oh, Mackenzie's in the wrong place right now. Uh-oh, this is not the place to be. Maybe the two most physically imposing athletes in the women's oh. division. And now we've seen a bit of a makeshift alliance. And, and this is dangerous. These two competitors on the same page, working for one goal to eliminate people and get it down to them being the last two. Wow. Well, that may be the best strategy if they can trust one another, that's a big if. Well, that's the if. That's the, the thing you have to worry about. But right now, it seems to be working. Mackenzie trying to fight her way free. Nothing good comes of that position. No, that's a bad spot to be in for Mackenzie. Spear! Oh! Spear! And Mackenzie got all of it. Can she eliminate Tonga? Tonga is gone! Wow! And Luna, oh, oh wow. man, high angle right on top of her head. And that is right on high shoulders, back of the neck. That is a, a dangerous place to get dropped. Over the third one, the trifecta. Oh, got a death grip on that second rope, does Danny Luna, justifiably so. That strength of Danny played into that right there, being able to counter that suplex. Now you're seeing uh, the arsenal of Mackenzie. Why well, she was able to pin so many people in this Whoa. field, but she's gone! Just like that, a great showing, but Mackenzie muscled out. And here we go. Session about Martina from the blind side. It's, it's good. And Danny Luna is. Oh, uh, Danny was, was enjoying this, the spoils of the moment, and forgot about Session Moth. Oh, what a shot. And this is a dangerous space to be for Danny yeah. Luna. Session Moth. Big headbutt. Oh. But oh, falls. Session falls. In, in, uh, Danny falls into the ring. Session Moth can feel it though. She's getting the momentum back on her side. Oh. Two double tough athletes looking for momentum here with a close line. That's called. Uh oh, power bomb. Oh! It's dropped her with reckless abandon. Danny Luna just overpowers anybody that comes her oh, way with a close wow. line. Good night! Man, that wind up got all of that execution. And could it be a formality? Could your prognostication come true? Danny Luna, maybe another step closer to the women's title. I think she's the strongest better left in here, and she's got the opportunity right now to really, really destroy the competition and walk out as world's champion. Luna pressing the advantage. I love the energy of these fans at Don Casper. Oh, Session Moth, teetering. And, and held, oh, Danny Luna, Luna foul. And that, that's it. Danny Luna foul. Danny Luna's gone. And 
Well, wait a minute. Session Moth is the last woman in the ring, but she hasn't won officially. Lizzie Ebo has not been eliminated. Dero. Lizzie Ebo is still part of this match. But we need an official ruling from the medics if she can go or not. We're, we're, we're having a conf over here at the officials. Well, you know Martina wants to fight. And Lizzie's up. Lizzie's up, but she's hurting. Yeah. That's, that's the will to want to have your name in the history books. The very first women's champion ever. Lizzie can be stubborn, but she's proud. No doubt about that. Oh, and she's going to fight. But... As we are down to the final two, this is now a singles match. Set for one fall with a 60-minute tournament. No cutouts. No dislocations. Here we go. Here we there go. Be a winner. And the winner will be the World PW Women's World Champion. And that's all well and good, D'Lo, but even though this match is happening, you have to question, should this match happen? Because Lizzie looks in no condition to compete. Well, uh, if Lizzie is, is going to get in the ring this much, is how much the World Championship means to both these young ladies and young competitors. I don't know, though. This doesn't seem like it's going to... It's not a matter of if, but when. Well, Lizzie coming out, fists a-blazing, an advantage over Session. This is how he ended the press conference earlier on in the afternoon which is four fists flying, and Lizzie is slapped uh, to the face. And you see Lizzie hurting there. Her yeah. And now... Well, I mean, when you're in a striking game like this, you can't get your, your footing right, your balance right. It's going to affect your the impact of your shots, oh, right? Oh, Lizzie's foot just gave out. Oh, no. Her ankle just gave out. And this may be a formality. I understand it's pinfall or submission, but the official may want to call this. I, I, yeah, and the EMTs are checking on, on Lizzie again. I think they're telling her she needs to. Yeah, I mean, I think she came in there valiantly, but I think she did some further additional damage to that ankle. And uh, hopefully we get official word. And what the hell? hell? What the hell's that? That medic just took her shoe off. I just choke slam. Wait a minute, Lizzie's up. Lizzie's, oh Lizzie's my up. God. I know who that is! What the hell? Lizzie just won the title! What have we seen? A despicable act is what we saw! The winner of the match! And undisputed! One Pro Wrestling Women's World Champion! Lizzie Evo! Lizzie just stole! the damn title! Lizzie Elbow sneaks in the back door and seals the title and by her side, that, that, that's Bo Herman? That's all of Herman's daughter! I want to power how she is. She just completely manhandled Session Mont Martina. I mean, bottom line, we have a new world champion, but not a world champion I can respect in the way that went about. Everyone was truly concerned with Lizzie's ankle, and the whole time, it was bait and switch. Lizzie was so upset about entering number one, about having to go through the entire field, and what did she do? She recused herself from the whole process and snuck in at the end anyway.